The Motorola Razr HD packs a huge display, dual core power, and a large battery that promises all day performance, but it also packs a rather hefty price tag. Now there's something rather substantial about the Razr HD. It's 8.4 millimeter thin body isn't the skinniest around, but it's weight and solid aluminum band make for a sturdy phone that sits reassuringly into your hand. While it's Kevlar back is an improvement over the plastic sections found on the Razr Eye and sets it apart from its aluminum and plastic competitors. It's got you covered on the connectivity front with an easy access micro HDMI port, as well as a micro USB port. Now, while the Razer HD's 4.7 inch 720p AMOLED screen is sharp enough to comfortably read text in the browser, we've been spoiled by the recent slew of 1080p displays, and by comparison, the Razer HD screen is lacking a little crispness. It's also a touch on the oversaturated side, but blacks are rich and true, and would have no problem relying on the Razer HD as our go to portable media player. Its dual-core engine can easily handle the gorgeous visuals and smooth gameplay of graphic-heavy games with no lag or stuttering in sight. We experienced the occasional hang-ups when switching between apps, which was a little surprising given its gaming grunt, but certainly not a deal-breaker. And web browsing in Android's default Chrome browser is nice and snappy too, with text rendering smoothly when resizing web pages. You can also expect the Razer HD's camera to fire up in an instant directly from the lock screen. Sadly though, it's lost the Razer Eye's dedicated shutter button and its 8 megapixel stills are a little disappointing. Graininess is often a problem with indoor shots and we also spotted the odd pink hue over white areas. The HDR mode does a decent job of bringing out extra detail in pictures with varying contrasts, but overall it can't compete with the likes of the HTC One or the camera found on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, Motorola is making big claims for the longevity of its large non-swappable battery, touting it as an all-day smartphone. Now, coupled with the smaller 720p display and the lack of quad-core insides, we expected the Razer HD to hold true to Moto's claims. In our standard battery test with Wi-Fi on, screen brightness at 50%, email sync on and the video playing on loop, the Razer HD managed around 8 hours. Now we've always praised Motorola for its non-intrusive Android skin, which keeps things relatively close to stock and adds just a few nice extras, like swiping left from the home screen to usefully bring up a quick settings menu for easy access to connection toggles. The Razer Eye's attractive circular clock and weather widgets also make an appearance, as does the very useful smart actions, which let you create custom scenarios to automate a variety of different functions. Creating a home mood, for example, could mean that Wi-Fi is turned on, screen brightness is cranked up and silent mode is turned off, and all this could automatically happen the minute the Razer HD recognises you've walked through the front door with GPS location. It's genuinely useful, and we're hoping that this feature is baked straight into the next version of Android. So what you're looking at is a solid phone with a decent battery. Its Kevlar design might not suit everybody's tastes, and its screen might not be the most pixel-packed, but it's bright, colourful and sharp, and does a decent job of showing off movies and games, which are easily handled by its dual-core processor. But at just under £400, you might find it a tad difficult to justify picking it up over the better spec Nexus 4, which goes for the ludicrously affordable price of £240.